I already see a huge problem. Oh, what's the huge problem? Whoa. <laughs> yeah, we've already taken out the carpet and drained out the water and... Oh, okay, so you will take care of the labor for that? So paying us? Uh-huh. Yeah, we have someone coming out today to check the walls and how wet they are. What do we need to do there? Okay, so, oh, so you already work with them. Oh, perfect. So once we find out, once we find someone to come in and fix the drywall and put in the flooring and everything, we get a hold of you for that? Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, just let me know after you talk to him. Thank you so much. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Oh my gosh. The insurance is gonna pay for everything. Are you kidding me? I don't believe it. She said they'll pay us for the work that we've already done. She said they'll pay the people to come that are coming today. She said they'll pay for the people that- Are you serious? Yeah, Do you know how much money we're talking contract? about? We're talking about like $20,000, $30,000. Oh my gosh. How much I... is our deductible? Did she tell you? $1,500. $1,500? Yeah, she was all worried about that. She's like, well, you're going to have to pay a $1,500 deductible. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, We're gonna okay, be... Blur, can I sign? $30,000 down to $1,500? Yeah. They're going to cover it? Yeah, she said they are. I like can't even believe it. I thought for sure they weren't going to cover it. Oh, my gosh, I can't even believe it. Oh, it's so exciting. And it's literally like Christmas. We were all opening it and I pulled off the plastic and like all of my stuff. <laughs> I look like something from like a like a Tim Burton movie. This is what it looked like. No, but look at me, I have a bag on my head. <laughs> we're all just from Tim Burton. What? Um, we should probably put it on the chair back here. Ah, you got some heads. It's all back to school on Monday. Oh, really? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, I have to take care of that thing. That's your whole life work right there. What's up? Okay, I have Johnny here. What's up? Thank you. Send, What's up? What's going on? Can I ask questions? What's up? They, ex she expedited it and it came back and there's- Expedited what? Our insurance claim. Okay, so what? Um, what? And because it's outside water, the insurance will not cover it. Outside water, like meaning what? A natural disaster. Any natural, uh-huh. She said if it was a hurricane, they would cover it, but for any other natural disaster, they won't. So no water, no... Unless it was a water main breaking. Okay. They would cover it. But because it was rainwater that came inside from outside, they won't cover it. Oh, are you serious? Didn't she just tell us that they were going to cover it? Yeah, but that was just before she really looked into our policy. Yeah. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Zero. Zero. Well. Oh my gosh. Let's just go ahead and. I guess you're on your own. Start it. <laughs> well, let's go. Let's just put on our smiling faces and go start ripping stuff apart. I guess. Yeah. At least it can be done by us. But still, we're still going to be like twenty thousand dollars out on this whole deal. At least. Yeah. Well, let's go make it happen. So disappointing. It's just I knew it was happening. When you I said know. a few minutes ago that they were gonna cover it, I was like, there's no way. Yeah. 
I know, I know that I I knew from the beginning that they wouldn't cover it. It just for a minute I was just so excited. I just thought they would cover it and now it's just Alright, let's go to work. Yep. find the right spot. Yes. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> good job, dude. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, as you can see, we got two feet of sheetrock completely pulled away from and uh, removed, and obviously we have a big mess to clean up, but um, it has exposed the wet two by fours and the wall studs to where we can now dry them out and um, we'll have to spray down some stuff to keep any, prevent any further molding because that um, has already started. And then clean up and it'll hopefully be done with demolition portion. so much fun the past couple of days because I have officially been assigned as TR's personal helper or whatever, assistant, and it's been so fun. Like, I work a lot more around the house and because I do like all the dishes and help him cook food, but it's been so fun because it's like a learning, a new learning experience because TR's been helping me learn how to make new foods and how to use certain tools just fun things that i would never have thought of like but like he even had a specific way today on how to make like pizza and all that stuff so it's been a cool learning experience that's what i've been doing since i'm not currently doing anything huge at the moment with my life <laughs> um so i've been learning 
new cool things about cooking and baking and all that stuff. So it's been super exciting. My advice, my little message for y'all is learn something new. Learn a new hobby. Find something fun that you've always been interested in but you haven't had the time or you haven't really taken the next step. Learn something new. Like for me right now, I know how to cook. I know how to bake. But I'm taking the next step and learning the more advanced stuff, the culinary stuff of it. So, maybe you want to learn how to sew. That's what we did. And now we're both really good at sewing, right? Depends on the Depends. day. Depends. Danielle's really good at cutting out patterns and doing hand details. And I'm good at sewing on the machine. But like, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say is just find something like Danielle notice that she liked dyeing her hair and now she's going to school for it you don't even have to go to school for it just find something cool maybe you want to learn how to play the piano maybe you want to learn how to make creme brulee just find something a write a tv show write a book learn how to sing yeah just do something that you've always been interested in and make it one of your hobbies because you never know how fun it may be or maybe even like with me with my cutco job that i had i found out i'm not good at sales and i don't like sales so that's not something for me but i like doing youtube and now i really like to cook and bake i mean i always have but i love it even more so find something new maybe you'll like it maybe you won't that's why you try new things so Today, right after you're done watching this video, I challenge you to go do something and find something, a new hobby. Find something to do. Always remember that you are worth it. Bye guys. Bye guys.